This is Ryan with Stonefly Aquatic Nursery. Today we're going to be doing some winter plantings. We really just wanted to show you guys what these plants are going to do in the spring even though they are planted in the winter. We've still got some lows in the high 20s, maybe in the mid 30s, and our highs are usually in the 50s to 60s. So what we're going to be doing is picking a spot out in this pond behind us and here in a few months we are going to come back and follow up and see what these plants are doing to show you guys what they did. So let's get down to the pond. So here's the pond. You can see we planted some water willow a while back a few years ago and it's lining most of the edges. There's some along the corners as well and that's what all this is right here. And then out there, that's some pickerel weed and some broadleaf arrowhead. But we're not going to be planting quite that far into the pond today. It's a little deep to be trying to plant out here. The water's just a little high. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here about where the shovel is, maybe a little bit deeper, to put those plants in a spot that's going to look good now as in terms of water level and hopefully will hold out in the coming months depending on what kind of rain we do or don't get so we're gonna go back to the truck and pull out our plants so here are the plants that we're gonna be working with today we have a thalia two cannas american bulrush two bull tongue sagittarius and then two pickerel weeds as you can see these things they frankly just look dreadful all this is just a, uh, a result of it being cold outside most of these have been outside for the duration of winter up to this point but if we look down at the bottom of the pots we've got some pretty solid roots on most of them the bull tongue is a little thin but i think that they'll pull through all right and be just fine the uh american bull rush is coming on strong lots of healthy roots and that's really what we want to see so i wanted to show you what they look like up close and we're going to go ahead and put these in the water just wanted to explain what we're doing here. So everything is potted and we are using a sharpshooter shovel. And what we're doing is we're putting that shovel into the ground. We're going to pull back to loosen that dirt and then push that shovel forward. And what that's going to do is create a hole about the size of that pot. So as we're pulling that shovel out of the ground, we're going to be putting our pot into the hole and then that dirt is going to push back and fill the hole. So we are done planting. <clears throat> so here's our Thalia, can of one and two, bull tongue one and two, American bulrush, pickerel weed, one and two. So we did vary some of the depth. The canna and the pickerels are a little deeper. Reason being is they're a little bigger plants, so I think they'll handle it better. Hey, we're back. It is the third week of May, I think. And so far the plants are looking pretty good. Now, just another reminder, we had that crazy winter storm in February, but here are our cannas, the pickerel, and it's even starting to uh, bloom right there. And then here's the arrowheads. So I'm pretty happy having planted in January or whenever that was, and then to hit, have that crazy winter storm, and then have this stuff come up and be blooming like it is. So I'm very excited to see that we were able to do that winter planting and it be successful. So I hope that you guys liked this video or chain of videos, whatever you want to call it, because we're going to be putting a couple of different things together uh, to make this. I hope you learned something from it. We're learning from it. So I appreciate you for watching 